Now then, now then, now. <laughs> a shaky, snaky start today. <clears throat> a bit late, sorry. I think that Ian, was it? Somebody was politely saying, oh, there's some background noise over the, the music. I'll get a message from Sally. We could hear you coughing and blowing your nose. <laughs> oh, it's not surprising I'm coughing and blowing my nose. It's, I greet you from the frozen wasteland of North Lincolnshire. Where the radiators make no difference whatsoever. How are you guys? You in good form? <clears throat> I feel better now that we've that you're with me and, and that we've started making music. I think Jen put it very well. Haiku. So let's play the tunes when there's no words left to speak. Music says it all. So let's play the tunes when there's no words left to speak. Music says it all. I love that. 
<laughs> That's what a lot of my days are like. <clears throat> the days are chaotic and frantic and disorganised. Uh, and then the music starts and usually everything's all right. <laughs> usually. In my defence, because <clears throat> it was a bit late and I was a bit, you know, all over the place. <laughs> the dark beer, yeah, it's a it's a stout from Ainsty Ales, a, a small brewery in, uh, in in York. Very nice, yeah. <laughs> Cheers, David and Viv. Oh, we're going to see you, aren't we? In uh, can't wait, May, whatever it is. <laughs> Excellent news. Fantastic behaviour. Horn camp rises again. <clears throat> um, in my defence, I've got to hit the road tomorrow. I've got five shows next week and they're different projects. Tomorrow is Robin, Robin Smith, who I absolutely love, but he's crazy and mad as a box of frogs. <clears throat> so I mean, look at it, his tunes, and then we go straight into the trio shows, kicking off in Huddersfield on Tuesday. Where am I sleeping tomorrow? Oh yeah, Robin's house <laughs> in Cheltenham. Where am I sleeping Tuesday? No, Monday. No, Tuesday. <laughs> Phil's house in Stokesley. <clears throat> so yeah, we go to Huddersfield with the trail. Then we go to, where do we go? Stokesley. <clears throat> and then... We go to Barnoldswick and then we go to Grindleton and then we go home, I think. I can't remember. And also the window man's coming in the morning. So we've been having to tidy up and everything. <laughs> no excuse, is it really? And breathe and relax. Yeah. Let's have... Um, let's summon... Friend of the stream, hero of the stream, Mr. Simon Goulding, his arrangement of the beautiful Joe Beam classic, The Girl from Ipanema. Yes, mate. <laughs>
from me Cause I love it so I'm gonna blow Today, uh, I think it was for Ribble Radio. I think it was for Ribble Valley Radio. And, uh, guy said, um, You play sax here? He said, uh, It's probably baritone sax, isn't it? I said, Yeah, I play baritone, but I play more tenor. So I'm a soul boy. It was a, it was a Northern Soul station. Anyway. But he did get a lot of uh, baritone sax in Motown there, huh? in his defence. Well, he doesn't need defending, I'm just saying. <laughs> it got me thinking about um, some great baritone solos in Motown records. I need to do some of them for you. Martha Reeves. There's a couple in there. I can't remember which ones, but we'll find them. <laughs> I will or you will. Happy days. Oh, just going to swap this around. Oops. So I'm trying out this new method of. Oh, what's going on? Oh, I'm trying to. <laughs> There's chaos here in the freezing den. Hi, Liz. Hi, Ron. Hi, Jeff. Celia, Judith, Richard, Mark, Yak is here, flipping it, Christine's here, wow, I know Jen's here, because she's been poetic, Judith's here, Mike Cole's here, he, Ian, yeah, he's already told me I'm noisy, cast, what is a cast of Helen Hutch is in, Sally Harridge is in, I'm the only one I've never heard of. You guys are famous. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. Greetings, Mr. Yak. So I'm trying new methods of trying to keep my saxes warm. I don't care about myself so much. I've got James gloves. But, but, um, but when you pick the saxes up in the cold, they're like a quarter tone flat, man. So, I've got this, um, I don't know if you can see it. You see that? <laughs> so it's a big old, uh, what they call a par cam, like the old fashioned stage lighting, you know, before it went digital, before we got um, LED lighting. And any of you, and I know you as a, as a 
a lot of uh, expressive actors amongst you. You remember on being on stage, it was so hot, wasn't it? Because all the lights on you, which doesn't happen anymore. You know, professional theatres because they've all gone digital and LED. But I've still got a couple of old par cans, so I've got that one blasting straight up my alto sax now. So that's the next one I want to play. It seems to be working a little bit, at least. Yep. It's, um, Jane made me a lovely bag, and that works a bit, but it takes ages to get it out of the bag to play. So, And Mike's thinking of making me a massive box. I could put myself in there. <laughs> I could sleep in there. <laughs> Where's Slake? He's having a little snooze in his sax box. Oh, it's got me thinking now. That could be really snuggly. Oh, yeah. So I, was, I think we haven't had any Robin Smith on the stream for a long time, have we? It seems like. And I'm seeing him tomorrow, which seems hard to believe because he's so far away in Cheltenham. So I brought him in virtually. A couple of tunes on tonight's stream um, to preempt to get get us all in the mood. I know some of you are coming to Cheltenham, aren't you? Liz and Ron, are you coming? I know uh, Julie's coming. Julie and John. It's a lovely theatre, Cheltenham Playhouse. Really is nice. I've only been there once. I see there is a haiku. Incoming from Yak. <clears throat> Not about autumn, Yak, it's flipping. Winter's coming. All right, I'll give you this then. Poetic license. Autumn has arrived. Summer's gone south for winter, I like that. Hibernation time. Oh, I see where, you, <laughs> I see where you're going. Autumn has arrived. Summer's gone south for winter. Hibernation time. Yeah, I could hibernate in my sax box. Come on, Mike, get on with it. No. There's a lot to be said for hibernation, I think, isn't there? Have humans ever hibernated? Do, I mean, do they... What about Eskimos? Do they hibernate? Get a lot of blubber on you and snuggle down your, in your igloo. For like three or four months. Uh, it's got me thinking too. Thank you, Yak. Oh, we're so oh, we're so artistic tonight. It's brilliant. Oh, off the cuff, spur of the moment. Ah, it's not winter until solstice. Fair point, mate. I changed the intro intro scene too early, but it is but it's snowing, or well, it was. Looked at the light. Can't see anything now. Can't see you. Right. I'm reminded of Jen's haiku when there's no words left to speak. Music says it all. In other words, get on with it. Oh, yeah, Robin. <clears throat> I play a lot of soprano with Robin. This is folky and classically influenced tunes. It seemed to work nice on the little baby. Hmm. Right, got to concentrate. We're in the key of C. Don't try and trip me, Mr. Robin Smith. Uh, the, a beautiful piece. What key is uh, it in? which is called Down by the Sally Gardens. Beautiful piece. What key is it in? Uh, Traditional-ish folk, English folk song. Or uh, British. Thank you. 
Why don't you cry me a river, cry me a river, as I cried a river over you. Now you say you're sorry for being so untrue. So why don't you cry me a river, cry me a river, as I cried a river over you. You drove me, nearly drove me out of my head, while you never shed a tear. Remember, I remember all that you said. You told me love was too plebeian. You said that you were through with me, but now you say you love me. Well, just to prove you do, why don't you cry me a river? Cry me a river. I cried a river over. <laughs> I'm not going to cry really, I'm not sad. No rivers from the Zen Den, just big lumps of snow, snowmen and ladies. Well it's a bit warmer I think than the old days, it's still, tuning still felt funny. <laughs> Work in progress. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what next? I did have a plan. Just got out the window. <sighs> when in doubt, drink the stout. <clears throat> it's my terrible attempt at a poem. It's not a poem, is it? When in doubt, drink the stout. Shut up, snakey, play. <clears throat> what the world needs now is more Simon. Can I play the flute with gloves on? I'm not sure. I think so, yeah. <laughs> the way I play. <laughs> I said it first. <laughs> the way I play won't make much difference whether I've got my boxing gloves on or not. <clears throat> <laughs> oh dear, it's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So, uh, Sally's telling me a few of you are coming tomorrow. Awesome. Sally would have come, but the window man's here. Putting new windows in. Well, just the odd one or two. Not, it's not a full window job. But um, there are certain points... <laughs> In the Snakey and Sally and Joe house where <clears throat> the windows are not sealing that well, if you know what I mean. Right, yeah, more Simon, that's what the world needs. 
yeah, 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 yeah. Man is unbelievable. 
yes, Mr. Goulding. Mate, you live on. Not half, not many. Flare in it. Unbelievable. <laughs> yes, mate, not worthy. <laughs> and don't you answer me back. But I used to, every time I played with them, I used to stand there saying, mate, why are you bothering playing with me? Flare in it. Unflipping believable. Back on the baby sax. <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> Ennio Morricone. He's all right, any. He? Back with um, Robin. <laughs> oh yeah. I'll put the music up just in case. Just in case. Shouldn't need it, but just in case. You know it makes sense, does it? I don't know. All right, where does it start? If I do this, I don't have to look at that page. I just have to remember. <laughs> oh, mate. A lot of you guys are musicians as well. I mean, there's so much more to it than just playing the instrument, isn't there? You've got to remember, turn the microphone on and what song's next and all that stuff. And oh, I don't know. <laughs> yes. Where are you, mate? Morricone, man. 
Ennio's, Morricone's, Gabriel's, Gabriel's soprano sax, Gabriel's oboe. Oh, beautiful. Well, the composition is beautiful. Cheers, you guys. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing some of you tomorrow then. And then what else is going on? <clears throat> You've got so many chances. <laughs> Huddersfield, the keys underneath the some big church in Byram Street. Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday. Stokesley, another church. Stokesley Parish Church, beautiful acoustic in there. I do love a good church. That's Wednesday. <laughs> Our tickets are available for all then, I think. And then I, I think the next ones are sold out. But lots of lovely gigs coming in for next year, guys. And what amazing Christmas presents concert tickets make, don't you think? As do CDs available from <laughs> Snake Davis Dot Rocks. The ideal stocking filler. I know. My attempts at flogging our wares are uh, weak. So next year, oh, the gigs are flooding in Otley Courthouse. And they're all such beautiful venues. And Helmsley Art Centre, a new project in January. Scarborough Stephen Joseph Theatre, haven't been there for years, love it. Whole Truck, haven't been there for years, <laughs> love that one as well. And it's such a cute venue near Annick, Northumberland, the Rocking Horse Cafe. Then a rope walk, yes. Loftus Town Hall. <laughs> that's Loftus, that's northeast, over towards Whitby. Cracking venue too. Threlkeld Village Hall. If you can't get into a church, get into a village hall. That's why I say. Buxton Pavilion, next to the same building as the Opera House. That's lovely. Havant, Spring Theatre. Wimborne, Tivoli, Worcester, Huntingdon Hall. Great Torrington. Well, I've got some of my gigs mixed up. Uh, Ashburton, haven't been there before. St. Austell Art Centre. Richmond Georgian <laughs> Theatre. Chipping Village Hall over near Press. Oh, man. Oh. I feel tired now. Be... <laughs> That's a year's worth <laughs> right there. Yeah. Exciting. Who's book? Oh, great, Paul. Look forward to seeing you there. Yeah. Awesome. Right. On with the show. Well, I don't know about on with the show. I've got one more tune left, I think. One more tune in me. Big, 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 big thank you to Simon Goulding, to Sally and Joe, to Robin Smith. Anything could happen tomorrow. Mad as a box of frogs. <laughs> he sends me so many confusing, conflicting messages. Let's do this. No, let's do that. What key is that in? Oh, you remember we did that once? No. Oh, okay. Zoom karaoke. What else have we had? Anything else? No. Oh, yeah. Ernie Wood. Co-writer and producer of At Dawn. Seems like ages ago now. Our opening track. <coughs> this is one... I th I've done this a couple of times for you, I think. Don Henley. I don't know. Did he write it? I don't know. Richard will know. Michael know. The End of the Innocence. I love this song. It's, I don't know, it's, it's reflective. Is it sad? Is it ironic? It's tinged with kind of melancholy and regret. And I said irony already, but it is. <laughs> and it's moody. I love it. A bit political. A bit mysterious. The end of the innocence. I'll see you before we go. Am I back next week? Yes. Will I be tired? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> okay.
and daddy standing by Happily ever after fails And we've been poisoned by these fairy tales The lawyers dwell on small details Since daddy had to fly Oh, but I know a place where we can go That's still untouched by man Sit and watch the clouds roll by and the tall grass waves in the wind. Oh, lay your head back on the ground. Let your hair fall all around you. Offer up your best defense. This is the end. This is the end of the innocent. Now those skies are threatening They're beating plowsheds into swords For this tired old man that we elected king And our cheer warriors often fail And we've been poisoned by these fairy tales The lawyers clean up all details Since daddy had to lie Oh I know a place where we can go and wash away the sin. We'll sit and watch the clouds roll by and the tall grass waves in the wind. Just lay your head back on the ground. Let your hair spill all around you. Offer up your best defense. This is the end. Yeah, babies. <clears throat> I'm still coughing and spluttering. I warmed up a bit, actually. So good to see. It's amazing that we can do this. Big thanks, Joe. 
Couldn't do it without you, mate. <sighs> Technology. It's great sometimes. <laughs> I look forward to seeing you on the road or back down here next week. Same time, same place. More snow, less snow. Who knows? Really great to see you. Thank you so much for sharing your evening with us. It's an honour. You guys take care. Eh? Be kind to each other. Be kind to yourselves. Go steady. No rushing about while there's black ice around. No rushing about anyway. <laughs> At our age? No, I know you're a lot younger than me, you lot. Just take a moment to breathe every day. I'll see you very, very soon. Thanks. Thank you.